or head get information back home that they have attacked the office. So he told us not to go back and uh, we seek asylum. From that asylum we seek, my thinking was like, okay, maybe it will be easy. Maybe take a month or two for me to get papers. And uh, so we seek the first stage, the immigration. A lot of us heard the stories, get the lawyers, and then we lodge everything, wait for one year before they get on back to us. And they said no to everyone of us. My father died during the war when the rebel attacked. So we ran away. They captured us. So they gave him logs to carry. And uh, when he said, I'm tired, that's the word that they want to hear. When he said, I'm tired to carry loads, they said, put him to sleep. It means killed. So they killed him in front of us, me, my sister, and my mom. So that's us. From there, I ran away. Me, my sister, and my mom, three sister went to Guinea, the neighboring country. I was 15. So, I would say my life is a... Uh, that's reason when I came here, I started struggling to get the papers. I was said, what happened to me? For how many years? Since I born, you know, grew up, suffered, you know. I came here again, another suffering for how many years? Almost seven years, I was suffering. I used to ask the people who sit in immigration if they're human being, what I'm going through. That I used to ask if they are human or they have no like no conscience how the the what I'm going through the suffering since I born you know when I lost my father since that time I came here then another suffering starts again I was asking myself what's happening what have I done so I just left my sister that was suffering what I have to go for my own life. So I left them and, and go. Now they got like four, four kids. And my mom's still there, but I was, thank God, came here. This has helped me to get a job. And from there, the life changed because I support them, send money for them. And 